Um, there's two things about post that I want to read. Actually, I have to find this because it's, um, where am I? I have, someone sent me this. Hold on. Give me a second. Cause I want to add this to my thing. Okay. I did find it. So there's two post dramas. The first one, or Fediverse dramas, rather. Um, there is an MIT researcher who had a bot scraping the Fediverse. His name was David G. Rand, no association with Randbot, uh, who was funded by, this guy says here, the George Soros Open Society Foundation, and he was running a bot that multiple Fediverse operators noticed were making unusual and abusive requests that did not follow robots.txt. So a lot of people had robots.txt, which instructed crawlers not to index or access uh, user profiles for the privacy of their users. And this bot was not obeying those requests. It was archiving or accessing user profiles for some reason. And it turns out that this guy from the MIT um, named David Rand, who accepts money from the Open Society Foundation by George Soros, uh, was running a bot that was ex uh, ex researching the spread of misinformation or something. He says, apologies for this. We were looking into what was happening more. And it turns out the issue was a link unshortening script. We didn't scrape posts. We only used the official API. We didn't realize the unshortening script was causing problems and have stopped. Uh, thank you for engagement to clarify the data we were collecting was on the what news domains people of different servers share and how toxic the language they use is, etc. And then how that relates to um, the formal rules the server posts. But we'd love to talk to admins about how they actually think or do content moderation, etc. We have talked to some already and are definitely interested in more. Um... So that's what he's up to. We got the MIT doing hard hitting research, bot scraping, URL shortening, trying to figure out how that dastardly fake news countering their hard hitting journalistic integrity, uh, real news uh, is moving about the internet. So that note, this was also sent to me by email and I have no idea who this person is, but it gave me a little bit of schadenfreude. His name is The Daily Rake. He goes by the TDC. He was an active member of, I want to say both The Right Stuff and then NJP. If you don't know, NJP is the National Justice Party, which is like a openly fascist uh, party in the United States. Uh, it's a joke, of course, but it's uh, that's what its purpose was. They're most famous for Emily Yukis and some other guys standing on a street corner with signs that say Jews rape kids. Um, and that acquired a little bit of controversy. And I think that was like the most attention they ever got. Uh, however, most of this is just him shit talking everybody. I don't know who this guy really supports. He doesn't like Nick Fuentes. He doesn't like um, NJP. He doesn't like the right stuff or Andrew Anglin. So he seems to be like in the far right, but then also he hates everybody in the far right. And in particular, this is funny because Graph threw, okay, so Graph threw a fit. This ex requires explanation. Back in the day, before Drop Kiwi Farms, I operated a bunch of different services besides the Kiwi Farms on my, my IP space. And now because I'm just fighting to get the one up, I don't really have any of these services anymore. One of these things was kiwifarms.cc, which was a Fediverse instance I shilled quite a bit. Because back in that time, uh, X wasn't a thing. It was Twitter, and it sucked ass. So everyone was trying to get away from Twitter. Uh, we were defederated because we were so Kiwi Farms at CC was explicitly associated with um, the Kiwi Farms. We were defederated from basically every server in existence, which means that when we post, we can't actually see our, our other people can't actually see our posts and and. They can't even import them, usually, like, explicitly. So, one of the few nodes that were popular that did not defederate us was Post, uh, which was like an anime, porn, slash, far-right shitposting site. 
that had a couple incidents that looked like lollycons. One of the admins was a lollycon. Uh, Graf hated me for for instigating like the lollycon shit and complaining to him about that. And then what really ended it was that Crunklord420, my my trusted admin of the Fediverse node, made an official emote of the kiwifirms.cc a cutout of a popular poster's wife. This guy's name was Borzoi. He was a like NJP TRS adjacent like alt right quote unquote guy. And he, his wife had a very suspicious proboscis. And this brought great, great humor to many people who observed the, the size of her schnoz and said, my God, this neo-Nazi's wife is endowed with a uh, particularly enormous nose. And many people made fun of this. And uh, Crunklord also thought this was very humorous and made it an official emote of the Kiwi Farms. So if you typed in colon nose colon, you would get just a picture of her nose. No information about who it came from. No information about who it was. It was just a nice picture of a nice big nose. Graf took issue with this. He said it was doxing. And because Borzoi was so important to driving traffic to post, uh, being a particularly well-known um, far-right, alt-right, uh, I don't know, personality, I would say. Um, he took issue with Borzoi's uh, upset with this emoji, very, very close to heart, and defederated the entire Kiwi Farms uh, from their system for doxing. Not that doxing anyone else mattered, it was very specifically Borzoi's wife's nose that was the, the point of contention. However, uh, Graf is an alcoholic goblin who stands at 4 foot 13, and uh, is a wee little midge, and he drinks uh, a thimble of booze every day, and this uh, completely washes him out, completely licks him, he reeks, and he makes moderating decisions between being drunk and also on his bipolar once a week like spurg out. And so as a result of this moderation style, he alienates an incredible amount of, of his users over time, especially prolific users, very important to the site, who actually donate money and support him in an ideological sense. Berzoe was one of these people. So the Daily Rake, who is another personality that people enjoy uh, in, in this sphere, who is very critical of everybody, as I mentioned. Apparently, I don't know anything about him. I've, just, I've read through his article. It's actually kind of funny. He seems to be a good writer. Um, but this guy writes an article about Borzoi, in part. It's mostly NJP stuff, and then at the end, uh, I'll, I'll read this because it's kind of funny. Let's see, where's the first mention of Borzoi? Um... Actually, it's the second mention. Before we leave, I have to address this absolute faggot. I'm, not, I'm a simple man. Hate TDC, hate Joel Davis, hate avoidable situations, simple as. TDC is the writer. Uh, for those of you who don't know, is my, TDC is my current name. He's basically what you would get if you gave a neural net the prompt, unlikable nerd from the cheesy 80 movies. This is the picture of Jesse Ogden. What's really funny about this, and this is Borzoi, is that this is via Anonymous Comrades Collective. So this guy who is in the far right is using what appears to be like an actual communist Antifa thing to find pictures of this guy. Um, the contemptuous little worm hates two things in this world, me and people seeing what he looks like. The later, latter I understood. The former was always a bit mystifying. Since pre-steak knives, I did absolutely nothing to him. He felt entitled to be aggressive, rude, and downright combative for, for no reason, despite this never being reciprocated. Then he has a bunch of pictures of uh, this guy being angry with him. And I really... I assume maybe there is some reason. It's probably what it, what this usually is, and this is why the alt right on the internet is like completely ineffectual and retarded and gay. Is that I bet you what this is is that Borzoi hates this guy because this guy has made fun of somebody that Borzoi likes, and instead of just saying like, "Hey, you know, this guy has had some really unfair criticisms of one of my friends," and 
um, this makes me not like him. He he sort of like spreads this veneer that there is some actual motivation for not liking him when it is just like this narcissistic injury because a friend of a friend got hurt or something. That's usually how it works. That's why none of these organizations are capable of networking because when person A says something bad about person B, person C is also offended because they're in the same clique and it's just like it's antithetical to forming any kind of movement and it's always like gay retard drama, okay? Um, so... Uh, I just wanted to, to bring that up because it was funny to me that the point is, is that this guy doxed Borzoi and the Daily Rake has posted this dox on post directly. And chances are that despite Graf originally defederating the Kiwi Farms over the nose, um, he will permit this doxing because it's doxing of a guy he used to like but no longer does because the fucking fairies in his head told him that he's no good anymore. That's just how it is. Uh, just a... a... <laughs> Dude, my, I have the opposite issue. I have an issue where I can't network effectively because people have no benefit in knowing me. If you know me, you're under increased scrutiny because you know me by everybody. People will look at you and say, that's a guy that's friends with the Kiwi Farms guy. And then people in the Kiwi Farms who are naturally cynical assholes will pay attention to you more because I'm talking to you. So um, people who do want to network with me can never do so publicly because it would always be really bad optics for them. Graph is no exception. Um, but it also didn't help that. But the Graph's issue is that when people started making fun of people on the right, because they're, you know, as I explained, the, the alt-right on the internet is a fucking joke. It's a clown show. This guy is the clown avatar from the clown world meme, but it really is like a clown car full of fucking clowns. or just packed in there, fighting and punching each other in the, the fucking throat constantly as they're crammed into this clown car, running circles, or running, doing donuts in the front yard with, with whimsical music playing. That's like the alt-right. And uh, he, when, when I, I make fun of this, or when anybody on my site makes fun of this, or when one of my admins make fun of this, that's a it's an unforgivable sin. That's just how it is. Anyways, someone sent this by email, and I thought it was funny. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.